I have this wooden Easter egg cutout that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to remove the tag and the hanger. I'm going to take my Wise Owl Goldenrod paint and completely cover the front of the wooden egg. Once that's completely covered and dry, I took some painter's tape. I'm going to go down about three inches and make a one inch strip with two pieces of painter's tape. I have my Siren Song from Wise Owl and a very small art brush. And I'm going to make a horizontal zigzag in the section we taped off. And then once I had that, I removed the blue painter's tape and then I filled in the bottom portion of the egg with the siren song. Now you can pick any color of your choice. And once that was fully covered, I allowed everything to dry. I then took my Wise Owl Black and I put two small dots on the top portion of the yellow. And then I took another thin art brush and put three little lines coming out of the top of the circles for the eyelashes. And then using some Mandarina from Wise Owl, I made a upside down triangle for the nose. Once everything was completely dry, I just took a piece of sandpaper and just gave it a nice quick sanding. This just helps smooth out the paint and get rid of any imperfections. And then you want to just wipe off all the sanding dust before you move to the next step. I have some circle dabbers that you can get from the Dollar Tree or Amazon. And using my Wise Owl Snow Owl, I'm just going to dab these little polka dots on the bottom section of the Siren Song. And you can change up the size of the dabber if you'd like. I allowed that to dry and using some hot glue and this yellow fur that I got from Hobby Lobby, I just glued it around the edge of the egg. I felt like this just gave it a final touch. It looked a little bare without anything there. I then took some Jew and some white beads and I strung about four on the hanger here and I reattached the hanger to the top of my egg. And to finish this off, I'm just going to give it a top coat of the Wise Owl Furniture Salve. And as you can see, I applied some of the salve to the left side and then the right side, I still have to apply it. And you can see how it really brightens the paint and just really gives it a finished look. And I apply this using my two inch palm brush. And then I just take a cotton sock and just rub it in. And there we go, now we have this cute Easter hanging decor. And you can also attach this to a wreath. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and stencils can all be found on our webpage at chocolateupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.